right, good morning guys. Day five up here in Ontario. We're getting ready for the morning. We're going bass fishing again. And yesterday we made a run in the town just to get some new worms. So we got some new yum worms and Yamamoto worms. And some custom colors here that were recommended to us by some staff at the local hardware store where we bought them. And uh, I'm gonna try these and some other pinks like this and we got some more offset hooks to go with them uh we're gonna mostly texas rig we are gonna wacky rig a little bit but that's basically the plan for today and we did it last night and we caught some good bass but anyways those are the best worms right now and those are the ones we're gonna use this morning let's go catch some fish slowly oh, saw the net. Oh, yeah. Yeah. okay well First fish, I mean, I'll take it. Right out. I'll take it. Did that camera even turn on? Man, I was trying to turn the cameras on this morning, guys. Did it turn on? Pike Did already this morning. Colton barely, what was that, your second cast? Uh, yeah. We weren't even prepared for the morning yet. I I'm still setting everything up, and he's already got a uh, little pike on the, uh, the new worms. We're tangled. We're going to catch some pike. Nothing you can do about it on the little... Yum worm, the pink and peach color. It's awesome. There we go. Little uh, 12 inch dink. Cool looking little fish though. That's you wanna hold them? Yeah. Nice fish, buddy. First fish of the day. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's see it, buddy. Oh, he's like, oh, he's like a hit in the, in the water. He looks like a blue tiger. They're like little slime darts, man. They come smashing it right out of these weeds here. They're just laying in these lily pad beds. So, beautiful morning out here. We're gonna catch more. Oh, I just had one. Got one. Got a bass? I think he popped off now. Oh, I got one. Okay, put these on. Scoop them for you with the net if I can get him. Add him. There's a bass. Nice, buddy. That happened quick. Oh. Right next to the boat, too. Where is he? Oh. He's underneath all the lily pads I scooped up. Like, where did he just go? <laughs> he took you. Nice one. Grab him. It's a nice little bass right there. Colton's on the board for the morning. Right to that little hole right there. Right there? Yep. Cool. Did you see him hit it? or? Uh, I just saw the worm go. Yeah. Sweet. You want to put him back? Here. I say we let them go. We yeah, get too. get some bigger ones. Everybody. Let them grow. Everybody. Nice fish, buddy. Oh, thank God. He almost ate my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Running the Texas rig this morning. It's just my favorite. I know people love that wacky rig, but Texas rig style for me seems to really work the best. There's some fish coming right to it. Oh, there he is. Oh, did I get him? It was a pike. Yeah, yeah it was a pike. He ripped me off. I think. No, I don't know. He just came out of nowhere and smashed it. He's, a, he's right in there. Little pikes are in here today. We found that there's a lot of little pikes in these coves. And they just come out of nowhere smashing us. But they're still fun to catch too. Right in front of you, it looks good. Oh, there's a bass. It's on me. Got him. Bass. Smaller one. There's my first fish. Oh, big perch. I thought he was a bass. Decent perch. Gonna keep him. Nice big perch. Okay, why not? Well, it got hot really fast, guys, and uh, we're heading out now. 
we're hot and sweaty <laughs> and we tried really hard and the bass are just not hitting i think the temperature just heated up so hot already this morning um that they shut off so oh well we're gonna try again later but that was it for the morning the one bass and one pike so colton smoked me <laughs> what's new all right guys it is our last night here in southeastern ontario it's been a long five days it's been a hot day <laughs> But it's our last evening. We're going to try to make it happen tonight. We're going to hit some weed edges over here. Uh, cattails, lily pads. We're going to see if we can get some more largemouth bass. And uh, after that, we might do some trolling. Try to get a few pike to end the night. So we'll see what we can do. Mommy's on with the first fish of the evening. Big old rock bass. Biggin. 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 Big, nice Biggin rock, rock bass. bass. We keep getting these huge rock bass. Big rock bass. When we're bass fishing, that's a nice big one on that same pink worm. Glad he didn't take your worm this time. Right. Came into some rocks over here. And that's probably why. Nice big rock bass. We're not really trying for these, but they're still fun to catch. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's going back. Rocky going back. He's going to do a flip. <laughs> Okay. Colton's got what we think is a pike. Oh, it's a it's a big bass, buddy. Big bass. Here, I can get him right here. It's a big smallie. Ready? Oh, nope, not yet. He's under the boat somewhere. Just play him nicely. S slowly, slowly, slowly. I got him. I got him. I got him. Ooh. Whew. Man. Big bass. That's the biggest one of the whole trip, I think. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Let me see what you got, kid. Nice way to end this Canadian trip, huh? Mm -hmm. Big smallie. He was light colors. It was hard to tell if it was a largemouth or smallie. It's actually smallie. We can tell by the stripes here and everything. And uh, real dark tip to his tail. Beautiful fish, man. Nice. Okay, how many weight? How much weight was he? Two and a half. Two and a half pound, 16 inch smallmouth off the rocks back here. Awesome. Let's get him back in. Ready? Yep. There he goes. There he goes. They always do that kick. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Coming up on a bunch of lily pads over here. This is a really good spot. We caught three or four bass last night over here. Is it? Mommy's got another one. Woo! Smoking the rock. Nice big rock me. bass. Huge one. Man, some of these are just monster rock bass. <laughs> They're so fun to catch. On these worms. Nice one, babe. Big old rocky. Another big old rocky. They're so fun to catch. They really are. Yeah, that one's a female. She's got a bunch of, looks like eggs mm -hmm. still. It's mm -hmm. got a fat stomach What's on What's she been eating in there? I don't know. Look in there. You see. Um, can't tell. Big old mouth on her, though. Goodbye, sweet love. Well, we got a beautiful sunset over here, and uh, we're having some fun out here, but the bass are not hitting anymore. And we've hit a bunch of areas, and we're gonna go troll for a little bit just to finish out our very last night here in Ontario and see if we can get our last pike or two. All right, so final night in Ontario. We're gonna troll in some deep area out here. I got four different baits I'm gonna throw out. We usually use the Rapalas, like this big perch. Uh, I forget the J, whatever model it is, but it's the three hook model, the floating one. So that's gonna be a shallower one. Then I got like this reef runner, two hook one. We caught a few pike on this one. Uh, we'll run this usually on the deeper side and then over here I'm gonna run a couple more Rapalas. This orange one was has been awesome We've caught a few different ones. You can see all the teeth marks on this thing and uh, And then the fire tiger of course, that's always a good choice with some steel leaders and Our setup is these big line counter reels so we can put enough line out that we can actually measure the amount of line that comes out. So that's our basic setup for trolling, and that's our last night. So we'll see if we can get it done. All right, we have them set up to 
outside with pointers and two inside, shorter rods, control four at a time. This is it, last night. Let's see if we can get one. Fish on. Oh, we got a big fish, Mom. Sit down and I'll get this on here. the first fish of the night here. It's at 50 some feet of water, so. Oh, oh yeah. Is. Oh, He's yeah. Nice. Get that net on the orange. That's my go-to. Once I get the point of your off. Oh, he's a nice one. The point of this way, buddy. Mm -hmm. Nice one. We're going to pull the planer, walk backwards, walk backwards. Okay, he's going to he's gonna be free. Right there, Dad. Fish. <laughs> Put them in. Get them in here so we don't lose them. Yeah. That's a big one. Holy nice, crap, baby. Nice, nice, nice. Got a nice one, guys. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Nice pike, baby. <laughs> On the orange rapala. Way to finish out our last night. This guy's a bleeder, but he'll be okay. Flip. He's just he's gonna flip in a second. He's just stunned. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Took him a second. He's gone. He's he's okay. Nope, he's gone. Nice, nice fish. Good job, babe. Thank you. Nice fish. Yes. Did it. One more. Let's see if we can get another one before it gets dark here. Well, we are in the last little bit here tonight. And uh, the sun has just about gone down, which is okay. Our house is right over here. So we're gonna circle around and go to it. The sky is extremely hazy because of the wildfires that we've had. You can see just the whole skyline is hazy. We smell it a little bit, but it's not as bad as down back south, uh, like New York area, Rochester area where we're from. So crazy. All right, guys, we are done for the night. We're heading back into the dock now. Just that one pike. It was fun, that was the last night of trolling. You can't even see us probably, it's so dark right now. But that was it, it was fun. So, one more morning, it would have been a bass fishing possibly, we'll see what happens, but uh, that's gonna be it for now. Well, it's our final morning, guys. Colton's coming down the hill so we can bass fish this morning. We only got a couple hours left before we gotta go. There's our Airbnb here, carrying down my battery. For the bass trolling motor and there's our dock way down there so we've had a beautiful place to stay all these days but this is the final morning and we're gonna get on with it and see if we can get some more fish this morning been absolutely awesome up here in canada we've had an absolutely awesome time catching fish and just having a great time so we're gonna get on the boat guys and we're gonna get going guys we have picked a few spots here we're gonna try some coves with some lily pads i'm starting off with a five inch yamamoto pink and green with uh, orange tail this one seems to be a really good one it's called rainbow trout gonna rig it up uh, texas rig style like i usually do i don't know i've done wacky before but i just seem to like the texas rig a little bit better for some reason did you buddy Seems like a really nice calm morning out here. Up and around. And take her. And I like to stick it just in the side a little bit. Just in the side. We'll cover that hook point. But there you go. All rigged up. Ready to go. Is it raining? Holy crap. Is that bugs or rain? Ah, it's actually raining right now, guys. We haven't had rain much at all on this trip. It's actually starting to rain right now. Weird. Was not supposed to rain at all today. All right, let's do this. First cast of the last day going out. Check my drag. Okay. 
Yeah, I had one hit mine up there in the rocks closer to that dock. I'll get us in there in a minute. I remember catching a few right over here on this side a few years back. Might be a smallmouth off that tip right there is all rock. Been seeing smallmouth here and there. They're just few and far between in this lake. Got to find the rocky shoals to find the smallmouth. It's been all wire's mouth for the most part. Oh, there it is. Got him. He chased it down. Yeah, he's a good largey. Need me to get the net? Um, I don't know. Oh, 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 come on. He popped right off. He chased it right down, guys. He was over here by the dock. I had him. I had him. I don't know how. He pulled me down in the weeds, and he, when they pull you down in the weeds like that, it just rips the hook right out of their mouth. It's like they're smart. They know how to do it, but, man, he wanted it bad. This color is a great color. He was right on it. Oh, I got hit. Good. Oh. Did he rip my worm off? I don't see it. I got smashed. I'm not having good luck this morning. Missed that first one that I did hook. And then I got ripped right off. Sometimes if they just grab the end of the tail, it's over. Just, just rip it right off. So They're active though. That's the good part. Is it a bass? Okay, Colton's got a fish here. Keep him on. No. He's popped off. Okay. I know, buddy. I know. I'm gonna hit these lilies, Colton. Right over, right back here, hitting all these lily pads over here. On this side, buddy. Right here. fish on. Got him, Colt. Good one. Here he comes. Finally a bass, guys. Oh, come on, stay on, buddy. Oh, he's going this way. Decent one. He's down in the weeds again. Come on. There he is. He's fighting. Get him right here. Yes. Okay, finally. That guy hit right in his lily pads right here on the pink worm. I switched it up because I kept getting ripped off, so not a bad one. Maybe it's the pink. Yeah. Got to get more of these pink yum worms. Yum brand. Nice one right there. All tangled up here. Texas rigged. And there's the worm there. That pink yum worm is a great worm. It's actually shorter right here because I ripped off the top because we're running low on them. But yeah, that's a nice bass, guys. Look at that one. Beautiful bass. Gonna get him back in the water. All right, buddy. Thanks for the fun. <laughs> we trolling for pike on the way back? Oh, got him. I don't know what this is. It's a big bass. Oh yeah, he smashed it. Don't don't jump. Is that a rock bass? Or is that a large mouth? I think it's a large mouth. Get him, buddy. That's a huge rock bass. That's a monster rock bass. Holy crap. I thought it was a large mouth. He smashed it. <laughs> Some of these rock bass up here, guys, are just massive. Look at that. I thought there was a large mouth with this worm. I saw him come out and hit it too, right off these lily pads over here. On that pink worm again, guys, they just love these. Get yourself some of these pink and orange yum worms. These bass just love them. Not cleaning fish today, but that's a nice, uh, probably 12, 13 inch Rocky. See, buddy. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for our morning. Just a couple bass. Uh, we got rained out a little bit. And the rain just started coming down hard. It didn't really mess things up for us. But, man, it was fun up here in Canada. Colton had a great time, huh? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. 
sometimes it was his morning sometimes it was mine but this morning it was mine i guess hooked in the three different ones and uh landed two of the three so not a bad morning it was fun just for a couple hours but we got to get on the road now we got to head back to new york it's over for us long five or six days but it seemed like only about a day because we're having so much fun all right guys thanks for watching uh click subscribe if you guys haven't already like the video if you like this kind of footage and uh we're going to be on to our next trip coming up i know we're going down to the allegheny region of new york to do some brook trout fishing for native brookies and uh a few other things coming up a lot more bass fishing i'm sure but we're going to be hitting a bunch of places so click subscribe guys so you don't miss out and uh yeah we'll see you on the next one guys thanks for watching